The state government has given the final nod to a six-storey development on the former Lacornu site in North Adelaide. The Adelaide City Council says it sends a bad message about how business is done in this state, but the developer, Macris Group, insists it hasn't been given a free ride. It seems Adelaide's longest-running development saga is drawing to an end. At last, it's taken about 20 years. Since La Cornu said goodbye in 1988, there have been plenty of plans for the O'Connell Street site, but all have failed until now. State Cabinet has given developer Con Macris the final tick of approval for the six-storey building, featuring 47 apartments, shops, restaurants and cafes. It's not the nine storeys the property magnate was pushing for. He's had to drop a supermarket and theatre and include more parking in an attempt to satisfy the many vocal critics. It's going to hurt the project, yes. No question about it. But, like I said, we, we wanted to deliver. We want to show the people of Adelaide, the government, that we were people to compromise. But the jury is still out on the design. North Adelaide is going to be ruined by building that. Oh, it's bad enough having the old uh, Hotel Australia down there. And I think it's great. It'll be great for North Adelaide. It'll create an atmosphere that we need here. A long time overdue. Adelaide City Councillor Anne Moran says Mr Macris has been given carte blanche and remains angry the council was stripped of its approval powers. It sends out a very bad message what's happened now. It says just if you think the council's going to be difficult, pop off to the government, it'll be a lot easier. <laughs> Yeah, She's a silly woman, that's all I can say. If we left things to the City Council, nothing would happen. And I think people want to see us create jobs. Through his companies, Con Macris donated $180,000 to Labor in the 2005-06 election year. But Mr Macris insists that didn't carry favour. If it wasn't for the money, why they cut us down to this? Why don't they let us put cinemas, they let us put uh, a hotel? This decision is one that uh, stands on its merits, stands strongly on its merits. The Minister says today's announcement spells out the state is open for business. Nick Harmson, ABC News, Adelaide.